it's Tuesday, June 11, and our theme for today's article is Bring Forth Good Things. And our theme scripture is taken from Philemon 1 verse 6, and it says that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you, in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Matthew 12, 35, A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. The good things you are expecting to happen are actually inside you. Bring them forth, Pastor begins. There is no point praying, O oh Lord, please bless my business. Please give my family more favor. No, he already did everything he was supposed to do. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 3, The works were finished from the foundation of the world. Just enter into that which was written concerning you. The Bible talks about good things that are in you, in Christ Jesus. In Philemon 1 verse 6, as we read in our opening scripture, the Bible says that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you, in Christ Jesus. What God expects is for you to step into that which has been written concerning you by declaring, I have only good things inside me. From within me, I produce good things. So, I'm a package of good things. When I arrive, good things start happening. If they were already happening, I bring in additional ones. Hallelujah. Think like this and practice it because it is the truth. Glory to God. Oh dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. So profound. All right, now let's take our confession together and mean every word from the bottom of your heart. Please say with me, I bring forth good things today from within me. And in all that I do, I exude excellence, perfection and righteousness. I have insight into mysteries and secrets. As I bring forth creative ideas in divine prosperity from within, In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further studies, please read Matthew 5, verse 16, and also Matthew 12, verse 35, and Ephesians 2, verse 10. And for further details, please contact us via any of our social media handles or visit any Christ Mercy Church near you. God bless you.